everybody, and welcome to County Cork. I just got off the bus there and I can't check into my hotel just yet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go around, get my bearings and see what Cork has to offer. First stop was to check out Cork's shopping district and Cork has a huge variety of shopping. But the first place I wanted to go to was the English market, which has been in operation since 1788. It has survived through the famine, floods, war and now the coronavirus. Cork is Ireland's second largest city and has been around since the medieval period. Anywhere you walk around this city, you'll see some sort of history, whether it's medieval walls, right up to buildings, monasteries, to Vikings, all sorts. After plenty of wandering around, I headed up to see the Cathedral of the Pinkin Saint of Cork, St. Finbar's Cathedral. So right now I'm on the grounds of St. Finbar's Cathedral. And from what I know is that it was built around the 1860s, I believe, but it was originally a monastery from the 7th century as well. It's a beautiful looking cathedral and it's a really old graveyard around it as well, with graves from like the 1800s as well, so it's quite fascinating. <laughs> So I just got into my room now and I feel very underdressed, very fancy compared to what I'm used to. Like I'm used to backpacks and hostels and stuff so this is way fancier than what I'm used to. Like look how pretty it is. I didn't even bring my laptop but how nice would it be to edit my videos on that? It'd be so nice. Then I'll show you the bathroom. Like how pretty is that? The view is really nice outside as well. I'm gonna have a quick look and... Ah! What the? Oh, I've never seen a window do that before. So, you may be wondering why I haven't posted in so long. And honest answer is that I got a new job and it kind of wiped me out for the first few weeks, kind of getting used to being back in work because I have been working in so long. But it did impact my channel a lot as well. and. Kind of restrictions were still in place, the weather was crap and I just lost all inspiration for making videos. What makes this week different is that my roster gave me three days off with a bank holiday as well and I said I'm going somewhere because I haven't been somewhere in so long. I think the last place I went to on a staycation was Sligo. That was like last October so it's long overdue. I felt I felt so bad not posting anything for I think it was about two months now at this stage um, yeah, I felt really bad about doing it because there's so many people out there who support me. My subscriber numbers were going up despite me not posting and yesterday I hit 400 subscribers and it blew my mind because I actually thought it would be a struggle to get to 400 by the end of this year and to get it halfway through the year is unbelievable and I'm so, so grateful. I am fully determined to get things back on track and get this channel going again. I have a couple of ideas now on getting inspiration of trips I can do and stuff like that. I have an international trip booked for September. I'm going to Morocco and I really, really, really hope it happens. Please, Mr. Covid, let it happen. So things will be back on track really soon. And to anyone who has stuck around and has recently newly subscribed, thank you so, so much. It, it literally means the world to me. So I'm gonna unpack my bag a little bit to lighten the load. I'm gonna head back out there to see more of Cork City. So I'm just out and about now again, and this time I'm going to Black Rock Castle and Observatory. So I don't know too much about it. I'm gonna look it up on the way. But uh, it's only about 20 minutes out from Cork City as well and it's meant to be really, really pretty.
we're just walking along this pathway along the water here and it's just so nice and quiet i don't even know where i'm going but going with the flow anyway after visiting Black Rock Castle, I headed back to Cork City. There I found Bells Field, which supposedly is one of the best views you can get in Cork. It is a hard climb going up, but it's well worth it. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. So today was kind of a wander around and kind of see where I end up kind of day and I really enjoyed myself and Cork City seems to have a lot to offer. I didn't get a chance to do everything but I do know there is just so much to squeeze in in two days. So tomorrow I'm heading down to Cove, so it's about a half an hour train ride from here which isn't too bad and um, Cove has a lot going on in it as well and I'm really really excited. So if you like this video make sure you leave us a big thumbs up. You can also leave us a like and a comment if you did enjoy. You can also subscribe to the channel as well to see my upcoming videos. I think this could be a two-parter. I don't know. When I'm editing, do your thing Amy. Whatever. I'm not even making sense anymore and I still have to dry my hair and go to bed so I'll see you in the next one.